So are you, so are you taking pictures? Is it full video? Full video. Yeah. Full video. Full video. All yeah. right. Okay, so mm. Louis, is that your name? Louis is my name, yes. Louis is your name, yeah? Huh. And Louis, um, how long have you been working in Turkey? In Turkey? Yeah. Closing on three years. Right. And for East Tech, for uh, my present school, closing on one year. Right. And what kind of school is that that you work in? Um, East Tech is a private school. I work on the primary side of the private school. And we teach grades from 1 to 8. Myself, I'm responsible from 5 to 8. Uh -huh. okay. And Louis, you have a, a very special role at this conference. Uh, can you, uh, very special. Oh, it's very, very special. special. Can, you, can you tell us what, what the role is? Uh, I'm one of the two hosts. So we'll be introduce, introducing the speakers. We'll be um, you know, giving announcements and generally just giving information um, about everything happening in the conference and hopefully we'll be contributing something nice to the ambiance so everybody enjoys themselves. And tell me, what were the uh, qualifications for this role? Like, who were you approached or did you have to go through a, a special uh, test to get the job? Or? I, I think I got lucky, to be honest. Uh, I was approached by Borju Akio, who is just sitting over here right now, but she's, uh, she's the organizer of this conference. And actually, this is kind of her brainchild. This is a product of something she likes to do this conference being her second and so she approached me at the beginning of the school year when I had just started working for East Tech. Her and I had had a few meetings just about work and about other things and we just got along and she uh, asked me if I wanted to host and I accepted. I thought it was an interesting proposal. Uh -huh. Fantastic. Yeah. Yes. And uh, do, do you think it makes a big difference what kind of host there is? I mean there's lots of different hosting styles aren't there? Like what kind of style uh, do you hope that you will I, bring to this. Yeah, I do actually. I do think it's important. Um, just mainly for the fact that everybody is sitting, so everybody is kind of like in a, kind of an inert position. The blood's not really moving. It's easy for people to get tired, and you need someone to kind of keep things animated, keep things interesting. Furthermore, there's a lot of information that's being imparted. Like, we're actually giving a lot of information. We know our documents very well. And so to keep all that information kind of distinct, we don't want it to just kind of blur together and for people to listen without, to hear without really listening. So, so in that sense, yeah, I do think the style is really important, just to keep things clear and keep them enjoyable. And at the same time that the people have a feeling that this is going somewhere and it's not just one thing after another after another. Because that can happen very easily if the speaker is not in tune with his audience. Mm -hmm. And what do you think the role is of, of conferences like this? Huh. That's a good question. Uh, not that the others weren't, but sorry, that one just, that, <laughs> that one just strikes me a little bit more. Uh, what do I think the role is of a conference mm. like this? Mm -hmm. um, we kind of put it as an, as an exchange of ideas and an exchange of culture, really. And we're hoping that's it. Like, even if like, teaching is well, it's around the world, it's pretty much as, can I say, as as not basic in an easy sense, but more like basic in an elemental, one of the first jobs in the world sense. People have always been teaching. It's that, uh, that basic, really, that's, that's the word. And even for all that, and even if it's everywhere, and for all age groups, and what will you, it's very easy to just kind of get stuck in your mode and your way of doing something. And so coming to something like this truly exposes you to what other people are doing, because it's actually it's strange, but it's quite rare that teachers have an opportunity to see other teaching styles and see other teachers. And furthermore, it's even more rare that when you do see them, that your mind is open to it. We kind of, people, like any, like any other person, teachers kind of get stuck in their way of doing things. You know, you have a method and you kind of stick to it. It's a habit and that's how it is. And so with something like this, hopefully it'll, it'll challenge that a little bit and kind of take you out of your comfort zone and allow you to try something different and challenge you with new ideas. Great. Well, thanks very much, Louis. Thank and you, uh, wish you all the best with the job and looking forward to seeing you in action. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.